we looking at the biggest explosions in the world and we about to blow this one out of the water. But let's dial it back a bit and start with a simple firecracker at half a meter. Followed by that one is a hand grenade at two meters, which is actually a grenade that you throw with your hand. After that, we've got the anti-tank landmine, which is a landmine meant to take out... Okay, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. I ain't gonna be that guy. Let's get serious here. This is a napalm bomb, Mark 77, which is the primary incendiary weapon of choice of the US military. Incendiary just means it sets everything on fire. This is a Tomahawk air missile, which is just a standard long-range missile used by the US Navy. There we have a Statue of Liberty for size reference. This right here is the Tall Boy. It's an earthquake bomb developed by the British that was used back in World War II. Here we've got the Moab, the mother of all bombs dropped by the US military, which at the time was the biggest non-nuclear explosion of all time. One upped obviously by the FOAB, the father of all bombs dropped by who else but the Russians, which to this day remains the biggest non-nuclear explosion of all time. There we have a neutron bomb, which is the first nuclear explosion on the list, so we go in nuclear, baby. We gotta zoom way the hell back with this one. This right here is the little boy, which is the nuke that the US military dropped on Hiroshima way back in the day during World War II. Followed by that one is the Fat Man, which is the nuke that the US dropped on Nagasaki just three days later, which is slightly bigger than the little boy. And to this day, it, those two nukes remain the only two nukes that have ever been dropped on a live city, ever. Followed by that is the B-83, which is a gravity bomb developed by the US military. Gravity bomb means that it just doesn't have an internal guidance system, they just drop it and wherever gravity drops it, that's where it lands. Followed by Castle Bravo, which to this day is the biggest nuclear explosion by the US military, and it caused a lot of unwanted fallout in, among the islands that it got dropped on. And then finally, we have the Tsar Bomb, which is the biggest nuke and the biggest explosion in history dropped by the Soviet Union.